hello my name is Bridget and you probably know this because I will be starting by posting this on my social media site but I've been wanting to make YouTube videos for a while and I decided to start by talking about one of my favorite topics of all for the nipple and I actually did a presentation on this for school so I'm gonna be using that as my format so it might be a little bit all over the place but I think it was a really good presentation so I think that it will be a good video so I'm going to start with history of free the nipple. I googled this, I binged this, I used two different search engines to try to get you the most accurate information, accurate information. However, it still might not be exactly accurate because not everything on the internet is right, believe it or not. But apparently, it was not until the 1930s that men were allowed to show their nipples. Before that, it was socially unacceptable for men and women to show their nipples. And then one day, men were just like, what the heck, why are we covering our nipples? This does not make any sense. What? Why are we doing this? So they decided to just stop wearing shirts to the beach. And I actually found a picture and it was titled, it was like, Rebellious Lifeguard Show Scandalous Nipples. And I just thought that was really funny because nowadays, you know, you see a picture of a man nipple and you don't even think anything. Like you see a picture of Zac Efron at the beach, you don't think, oh, this is so rebellious and scandalous. It's just a picture of a guy at the beach. So that's a little information for you you might not have known. So Miley Cyrus, fair or not, I have a Miley Cyrus quote here for you today to think on. So she says, it's, I'm not going to quote her exactly because I'm just going to bring up her point. So when you ask someone what the primary difference between a man and female breast is, besides breastfeeding, a lot of people do say breastfeeding because I think that is really the biggest difference. But they would say the fact that women's breasts are usually bigger than men's. Of course, it's not always true. Some men have bigger breasts than some women. Some women have smaller breasts than some men. Of course, we all know that. But the part that is typically something that women have for themselves is the fat. However, that's the part that is socially acceptable to show. So cleavage, even though it's a little bit scandalous, it's okay to show. Underboob, if you see someone's underboob fall out of their swimsuit, you're not like, oh my gosh, underboob, close your eyes. But if you see nipple, you're kind of like, nipple, you know? Side boob, same thing. I mean, I'm okay with, that's fine with me, but everything's fine with me. But a side boob, I think, you know, they show it in some dresses, some swimsuits, and that's really not a big deal. But why, when that's the thing that we, we have, and that's something that's, makes a difference between a woman and man's breasts. But the nipple, we all have, and for some reason that's x out on the shirt. Why is that? And then this is the question that I would ask someone like my grandma when it's trying to explain free the nipple to them. So I'd say, hey Grams, what is the primary difference between a man and female's breasts? You know this. I believe in you. Breastfeeding. Yes, Grandma. You are exactly right. Breastfeeding. Thank you, Bridget. And do you think that breastfeeding is sexy? Oh my gosh, no. Oh my gosh, no, not at all. Definitely not. Exactly. So, why are we sexualizing the female breast when the difference is something that is so not sexy. It is something that should never, ever, ever, ever be sexualized. Breastfeeding is this beautiful gift that we are given, that we can give our babies what they need from our bodies. We can feed babies with our boobs. How cool is that? When you see a mom breastfeeding in the park or at the swimming pool, you shouldn't cover your kid's eyes. You should be like, look at this magical, amazing gift that we are given. Look how cool this is. Look at this baby eating over here. You don't see a kid eating Doritos and say, oh my gosh, stop looking at that kid eating Doritos. You don't. It's just eating. It's feeding. It's life. It's freaking beautiful. Any, so can we all agree that breastfeeding shouldn't be sexualized? Great. However, side note, if you are a mother, and you don't want to breastfeed in public and you're uncomfortable with breastfeeding in public, totally cool. Breastfeed in private. Do whatever you feel comfortable with. I will never tell you to do anything with your body. So normalizing the nipple. This is something that I am aware is going to take a very, 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 very long time. When people have things in their heads that are 
wrong or are scandalous or whatever it may be, it tends to just stay in their heads because a lot of people don't even think, they don't think, hey, why am I sexualizing the nipple? They just think the nipple's sexual, the nipple's sexy, and that's how it's always gonna be perceived. They don't think, this doesn't make sense, let's change it. They just go along with it. And I mean, not everyone has the mindset that's just constantly thinking and that's okay. But I'm here to challenge you to think about this because I think that it's something that should be thought about, should be talked about, and I would like to challenge your thoughts. So normalizing it, that that is a very challenging thing. And I, like I said, I'm aware of that. It's something that it's gonna have to take a lot of people uniting to get this done. And something that is the biggest problem is women. Women aren't all on the same page. Women are putting down women. Women are slut shaming women. Women are putting limitations on other women. We are not all standing together. And something that we need to do in this time to get change to happen is to lift each other up, support each other, help each other, get on the same page, get shit done. And men, you are more than welcome. I love you, I support you, you can support me. I love that, you're totally welcome, absolutely, 100%. I would love for you to be part of this journey. I would love for you to be part of this change. And I love when men deeply, deeply understand this. I really do. And I try to talk to as many men about this as I can to get them to understand it deeper than just like, I wanna see boobs everywhere. And that is something that I think is another reason I'm making this video, so people can really, really understand it, and that they don't just think like, I'm just like, I wanna show my boobs to the whole world, which isn't what it's about at all. And my biggest subject, men that use this movement, the movement of desexualizing the breast, and they use it to sexualize me. I post things like this on my story, or maybe post on Instagram with like nipples showing, and I'm like, free the nipple. And now you know what this is about, but they're like, free the nipple to me. And I'm like, no, that will never, ever, 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 ever work. That is not what this is about. That is the opposite of what that's about. The fact that you say that to me is such a joke and doesn't make any sense. And I really hope that you can watch this video and that you can learn where my head is at and that you can get your head in a place where my head's at and if you want to come back and be like hey Bridget I totally understand this this is really cool what you're doing I support you I understand I'm totally gonna forgive you that's who I am and I would love for you to be part of this okay so I'm going to get into the part of talking about the actual laws so I have a little picture I'm gonna insert it right here and then we're gonna talk about it and here as in the future not here as in here like here I don't know how to do that yet Maybe I'll learn one day, but I'm just gonna plop it in. Okay, here we go. Okay, so hoping you got a semi good look at it. I'm going to explain it. So the green is where topless freedom is in effect. It is technically legal to be topless in public for women. The yellow is where the laws are pretty vague or they just don't really touch on it. It just isn't really yes or no right now. And the red is where it is illegal for women to be shirtless in public. Completely illegal, which I don't think really needs further explaining. However, in the green or yellow states, or red states, so, but in the green states, where it's actually legal, you can still be arrested or just told to put a top on or just told to stop doing what you're doing because you're shirtless. Because they call it a public disturbance or a disturbance of peace or whatever that may be. But I read, I don't know if this is true, I hope it is true, that if all you're doing, the only reason that you are arrested is because you were shirtless, so let's say you're on a park bench reading a book shirtless and you get arrested, you can fight the law and you can go back and tell them, you know, I was doing nothing illegal and then you'll get out of trouble. But if you were doing something like graffiti or something shoplifting shirtless, then you can't get out of trouble because you were doing something else illegal, which does make sense. So now, social media and the female nipple. I didn't find an article on this or anything. I actually went and looked on every individual website and their policies to find this information. So Facebook, they only allow pictures of the female nipple if it is post-mastectomy scarring pictures or if it is a breast that is actively breastfeeding. And Instagram said the exact same thing, except they added actually that 
It's also allowed in, allowed in sculptures and paintings, which I thought was really interesting because I would never even think that, that would ever be a problem, but maybe it is, but it's definitely not a problem on Instagram. So go ahead and post topless painting on, on Instagram if you want. And then on Twitter, I've noticed this from having all these forms of social media, that Twitter is the most lenient. I see the most nipples on Twitter. I've seen like whole free the nipple accounts where it's just nipple, 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 and that's the whole point of the account. And I would think that if that was a problem, that would get pulled down. So they only say that you can't have pornographic images in your header or your icon. But other than that, they don't really touch on anything about nudity or female breasts. But their primary focus is getting violence, keeping violence off of Twitter. So that seemed to be the only issue. They didn't really seem to care about nipples very much at all. And something so exciting that I think is so clever and something that really makes you think without really making you think it's something that I will definitely be particip participating in soon, even though the fad's probably way over, so it's amazing, it's really funny. So it's a picture, it's females showing their nipples, or a female with a picture where their nipple is hanging out or showing, and they take a male nipple, and they cover their nipple with it, and then all of a sudden, it's, it's censored. It makes you think, like, this is a nipple. We don't even actually know it's a male nipple because literally nipples are nipples and you don't actually know. But they're saying this is a male nipple, which is fine, right? That's all over social media. Covering a female nipple and all of a sudden, boom, it's okay. What the heck, world? Why? Why? That doesn't even make any sense. Nipples and nipples covering nipples and... Why? I also want to say that I'm not trying to... My ideal outcome isn't everyone being shirtless everywhere, which I mean, I wouldn't mind. I don't really mind anything, but I'm just wanting to be able to be shirtless in settings that men can be shirtless. I'm not trying to go to the, go to, go to the grocery store shirtless. I'm not trying to go to church shirtless. I just want to be able to mow my lawn shirtless if it's hot. I want to be able to go to the beach shirtless. That's what I'm, that's my ideal outcome. And something I hear all the time is men saying, or women saying, I will never not find the female breast attractive. It's sexy and that's just how it is and that's okay you can find the breast sexy for the rest of forever that is okay me personally i see a guy's arms and i'm like yum that's very sexy but he's not having to wear long sleeves so it's it's not about what you think it's about what you do with your thoughts if you're using your thoughts to objectify someone and to make some control someone that's a problem but you can think you can, anything can be sexy. People have all sorts of attractions to everything. It's just that those attractions shouldn't be controlling our bodies. And you know, another thing, which is something that always makes me so sad, is people telling me, Bridget, this, if women walk around topless, it's just going to make the whole rape thing way worse. It's going to make women being sexualized way worse. It's going to be make everything way worse. And that, that's a problem. That is not what I want. And that, if this is done the right way, this isn't, that isn't how it'll be. We need to, it's going to be a huge, huge, huge thing that I really, really hope I live to see. I want to see the day, and I believe that I can see the day where this is not going to be a problem, where this is just something that becomes normal. If we raise kids to think that this is just like an elbow or just like a leg, that sounds weird, but it's just a body part, and that's what we need people to think. And most importantly... I am not telling you to go shirtless. I'm not telling you to go braless. I'm not telling you to show cleavage. If you want to wear a sweater every single day of your life, if you want to wear 17 layers of clothes, I could care less. I'm never ever going to tell you what to do with your body and I'm never going to think differently of you because of what you're doing with your body, what you're wearing. I want you to do what makes you feel comfortable and I just want everyone to be able to, I just want people to be able to make the choice and people to be able to make the choice without being judged or thought less of because of the choices that they make. I want people to be able to go shirtless. I want people to be able to wear 7,000 shirts. It's all about the fact that I just want people to be able to do what they want and be accepted for who they are. So I hope that me making this video has made you think or maybe added a little bit to your knowledge or just made you a little curious to learn more. And my goal for you, if this is something that intrigued you, this is something that you are interested in spreading or helping, you don't have to do anything big, just talk about it. It's not something that you know you usually, you don't go to dinner and you're like, some free the nipple. But do that, just talk about it. If people have questions about it, answer them. Openly talk to them without judgment. Spread the word. Talk about it to your teachers, talk about it to your friends, talk about it to your cousins, talk about it to whoever you feel comfortable talking about it with. 
men, women, dogs, whoever will listen to you, just talk about it. Get it, get the word spread. It's getting pretty big on in pop culture because all these celebrities are supporting, which I'm super excited about. But even though your voice might seem little, it isn't. And every time it's talked about, someone else changes someone's mind. And that's my goal. My goal isn't to just make this ginormous thing, but to just create a ripple effect, maybe change two people's minds. Maybe this video made two people think, and then those two people make two people think, and so on and so on. And that's how change happens. Just one voice at a time. And you matter. And thank you for watching, even if I didn't change your mind at all. Thanks for listening to me. I'm glad to have had you view this video. And if you liked it, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, share with your not friends, share with your grandma, share with that person on Facebook that always posts about how women that wear leggings are disgusting because they show too much butt. Share it with them especially. Maybe it'll make them think. Those people, leggings, wear what you want, dude. It shouldn't matter. Stop judging people that wear leggings. Who the frick cares? Why are you so mad that you can see butt cheeks? Anyways, goodbye. Have a great day. Thanks for listening. Also, if you have any question at all about this, something that you think I left out or just something that maybe you have a question about something that I said, please talk to me about it. I will talk to you with no judgment. I love talking about this and there's no stupid questions and I would love, 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 love to have a conversation about this. Hope to talk to you soon.